Welcome back. We have something really cool going on, and we have Aaron in with us that's going to be telling you all about this. Aaron, what have you started doing? Well, Debbie, I thank you for letting me come. I'm You're here welcome. to talk about a project that we begun uh, a little almost a year ago uh, in Milton, Trimble County, up on 421. It's uh, called Maggie's Garden and More. Features a deli, uh, flowers and season, and uh, other things that uh, we have going uh, and and plans that uh, are yet to be revealed. Now, with your deli and the flowers that you have, you also have pumpkins. Pumpkins, and that's right. Flowers. You got mums right Mom, now. Mums, straw. We have straw available. Now you also have mulch. Yes. Yeah, we do. So, we do carry bulk mulch. So that's a lot of things that Milton doesn't normally have in Trimble County. So that's a, that's a. That's something that's there that's that you can't get to unless you go to LaGrange or you go to Jefferson County, Indiana or Carrollton. So you have to go a pretty good distance to get to some of the things that you have available now in Trimble County. That's right. We, we so. uh, in the back of our mind is the idea to be a benefit to our community. Um, we are community minded people. I've lived in Trimble County for 20 years and and so we want we want to provide a service that uh, at an affordable uh, price that allows people to shop locally. Now for lunch, what time do you open for lunch? Well, we open 11 o'clock right now uh, and uh, on Saturdays we do open earlier for a Saturday morning breakfast. Uh, we open at 8, uh, but through the week right now in the fall winter hours of 11 to 3 each day Monday through Friday. And we have lunch. Uh, you can buy a goods by the pound, uh, meats and quality cheeses by the pound. We also offer uh, through the week a daily special um, that we cook in-house there. Uh, it it uh, is consistently the same day of the week the special is each week so you kind of know what to expect on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So what's, uh, what's your favorite? Well, I imagine all of them are your favorites. Well, you could probably look at me if the camera was to pan out. Thankfully, it isn't. <laughs> Uh, and see that I'm, I am I like good food, so yeah. I would say that we offer quality food uh, for a reasonable price. So what, are, what is the special on Tuesday and Thursday? On Just Tuesday off, off our special head. is either breaded chicken breast or grilled chicken breast uh, with two sides. And then on Thursday? What's Thursday that? is, uh, is a traditional the... favorite. You got, you got Being a Hoosier or being a Kentuckian, you would like uh, to know that our special is a roast beef Manhattan. Now, a lot of places don't have that. Uh, well, we offer it. I'm partial to it myself. Roast beef Manhattan is on Thursdays. On Thursdays. All right, well, we'll have to get yeah. a menu and keep it in here. Well, hey, I can arrange for that. That's, <laughs> That's one thing I can do. <laughs> Good. Know. We'll have to do that. Hook so, you right up. Now, then, with that, you have breakfast on Saturday morning, right? Yes. So, now, what time does breakfast start on Saturday morning? We open at 8. And it's 8 to uh, usually 11 that we offer breakfast. You can get it cooked right there. One of, our, one of our goals is to provide a quick turnaround. So when you come in and order, we try to do things that allow for us to be efficient and yet offer quality with the food. So we know people are busy right. and they got things to do, places to go, people to see. So we try to keep that in mind. We don't want you backed up uh, waiting for an hour on something that shouldn't take 15 minutes to do. Now they can call your their order in. Absolutely. And what's the phone number they can call? Well, we have an area code of 502 and it's 467 Zero zero two one. Okay, and now we need to make sure they know the location of this, which is really easy. If they're coming from Jefferson County, Indiana, they go up the hill, and it's how far up the hill? Well, we're uh, our address for for those of you who like to plug it in uh, on a GPS is one zero zero two six Highway four twenty one North. Uh, you you go south on four twenty one from downtown Milton. That means you go behind Dairy Queen, climb the hill. We're under two miles from the bridge to the top of the hill where we are. Uh, everybody knows uh, the, the Lions Club building with the big line out front. We purchased that property and that's where we are in the former Lions Club building. Now I do want to add that the Lions Club still exists in Trimble County. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Long history and they still meet there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we, we own the property and that's where we're located. Well, that's wonderful. So you've done, this is the year thing that you've done. You've been there a year now. Mm -hmm. And you have a new project you're going to start on, is it this Friday? This Friday night. 
Oh we, my gosh. We, we are starting something unique in Trimble County. Uh, we are offering dinner and a show on Friday night. We're using local artists right now. They're going to come in uh, on our porch. We have a beautiful fireplace. Yes. Uh, and you can uh, get a meal deal there. Uh, we're going to offer a fresh steak, which be a half pound sirloin, and uh, a salad along with a baked potato and a dessert and a drink all for one money and then the show starts at seven o'clock and this particular week if i can insert this plug yes you can we have a local duo uh that's going to come they go buy gas money and uh, they're going to come and do traditional country and play it right there on the porch oh my goodness so. now everybody's going to be excited about this and they're going to wonder how long you're going to be able to have people on the porch so you're planning on doing this every week we're planning on this being a weekly event. Yes. Now, weather for now could be a change. Rain could change that. That'd be the only thing. Um, we, we are working on figuring out a temporary closure for the porch in the wintertime, which would allow us to use the fireplace more effectively and maybe some heaters and keep it going all year long. Now, we, we are expanding our dining area. Uh, along with a, a retail market area so we could we could have a little more space but uh, um, we hope to use the porch as much as possible if not every week oh well, that fireplace is really neat yes it is that's one of the most enchanting things about that property it is it is and you've done a lot of reconstruction yes we we we've converted the building into a a dining area and we we have a commercial kitchen we hope to expand into catering and put a greenhouse up on the property and we want the building to be used to year-round you all have got some big adventures ahead of you don't it's uh, pretty lofty goals but we think Milton and Trimble County are worth it and we think the region deserves something a little different on that side of the river it, it is and it's you know a concert every Friday night it's going to be really cool. It'll feature, it'll go from everything from, uh, it's music I love, but stylings of, of traditional country, perhaps more modern country. There'll be some bluegrass inserted, uh, along with perhaps some southern gospel featured. And it's, a, you know, we'll offer a kid's menu as well as a, uh, an adult menu for the night. And you can come, relax, bring a lawn chair if you want. And, uh, well, that's true. You got that big lawn. Yeah, out we there. have the lawn, and we're going to use that lawn next year. Coronavirus kind of stopped our plans, but we're going to allow for people to sit up there through the weekend on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, and and sell their wares um, at a reasonable price where they have exposure to the highway. Well, that's great. So now, with all of this happening, what time does dinner start on Friday night? The dinner and a show. What time does dinner start? All right. Well, we're going to start serving. And make it available at 5:30. Okay, and then the show starts at seven. Seven, and we're going to serve. You can, we're going to serve up to 7:30, and we won't serve after that. Okay, well that's great, Aaron. Now, is there anything else we need to tell everybody about all this cool stuff you're doing? Well, I just uh, appreciate the time to come and and share this, and uh, I hope that uh, we've been receiving great support, Debbie, from the community. And uh, we love Milton, Trimble County, and we want to have a good relationship with, with that area. And we don't want to be a drive through county. I know a lot of people go through there to get to Louisville uh, and other places and points in between there, here and there. But uh, we, we want you to stop and smell the roses there in, uh, in Milton. And you do have roses in the spring. I saw them this hey, year. Hey, <laughs> I still got some roses. We oh, offer wow. both annual and perennial. We want to expand our, our offering to trees and shrubbery mm -hmm. in the future. And uh, we'll have our greenhouse up, hopefully, in time for next spring and have our own plants. Wow, that's great. Well, I'm really glad you came in today. We'll have to have you back. Hey, I'd love to come back. And uh, I, love, I love working with you. Appreciate what you're doing here and the opportunity to come and, and visit with your audience. Oh, well, thank you, Aaron. Appreciate Kentucky News. Well, as you heard, he's got all kinds of things going on, and on Friday nights, every Friday night, as long as the weather permits, you're going to be able to go and have um, dinner and a show. So check it out. And we greatly appreciate our sponsors for making all this happen, and we thank you for watching.